This sign excluding black people from a future business is enraging some in a small town and now the man who put it up is speaking out. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Chris Herzog. And I'm Sarah Stokes. It's a sign generations of people may have never seen, yet a Clark County businessman says it's his right to discriminate. Mary Renzel is live in the newsroom tonight with the story. And Mary, is a sign banning black people even legal? Chris and Sarah, state and federal law says not if the business is open to the public. If the man's proposed gentleman's club was going to be a private club, then an African-American historian says he could discriminate. Legalities aside, his is a sign that some say is appalling. If I have a problem with you, it's going to be on the front of my store. Mark Pryor posted his No Negroes Allowed sign after he says he had some problems with black people in the past and needed to make a policy against them. Stick to my guns because I think I have the right as a business owner to reject service to anyone. And, you know, it's not all the black people. There's just a few, few bad ones. Pryor wants to open a gentleman's club in this building next to the Abbotsford City Hall and Library. He says he moved his sign inside after someone with the city asked him to remove it. Our mistake is that sometimes we look for logic in things that are just plain stupid. Salika Ducksworth Lawton at UW Eau Claire says she feels Pryor is out to get attention and says the second he opens his business he'll be in violation of the Civil Rights Act. You know, it's insulting to think that somebody automatically sees your skin color and thinks that you're inferior and that you're not fit to be around. People in Abbotsford say this is a sign they don't welcome in their town. My whole family lives here, like my whole family, all my kids, they're like that, what if one of my kids see it? But Pryor says it's his right as an American and as a business owner to decide who's welcome. A right he says he'll take all the way to court if he has to. That's the policy I'm going to stick, yep, I'm going to stick, stick to my guns. 